Ladies and good morning, welcome to Transverse Truck Trailer RV here in Federal, Colorado. Once again, guys, we are going to show you this M2106 Summit Hollow Conversion. It is a 2022. This is one of the three last M2106s we're going to do in the 2022 models. So this one is on the market as we normally do, try to tell you if it's sold or not. But this one is on the market. We're going to show you some of the features on this unit. Why Summit Hauler, why Freightliner, and some of the cool things about owning a truck like this. So, I mean, we always like to start up front, guys. This is one of the beautiful things about the Summit Hauler is the front end of our trucks. This is a Transwest brand, if you guys don't know. Summit Hauler has been around for about, whew, since 2006-ish. And we just try to, you know, go above and beyond when it comes to our design. So up front here, you can see the Summit Hauler grill with the Summit Hauler logo. This one was designed by the C9 company. And of course, the grills here all match. So it all bring that really nice front end on that unit. Again, with the free pits bumper and with the extension on the bottom that matches the color of the vehicle, makes it awesome as well. With those chrome bumpers, is the free piece, like I said. Having a free piece bumper on one of those freight liners is very awesome to have especially if you were in an accident or for some reason one of the parts just not you know working right you know sometimes the screws could go loose or whatever the case may be so you could actually change each section separately so you don't have to replace the whole bumper when it comes to the 2022 models the headlights has changed we have led headlights on these now so that gives you really nice bright light at night compared to the regular orange light one cool thing about this whole front end, it's not heavy. It's super light. Your kids could open it. I mean, older kids, that is. Your wife, yourself, you know, your husbands. And then, again, very easy to see what's in the engine. And what you guys are looking at right now is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. And it's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV six-speed automatic transmission. Again, even though this vehicle comes in brand new, we still run it for our shop. We want to make sure everything from Freightliner was put in properly. There was no leaks in the seals. Everything was stopped off. Make sure the engine is working, heater, AC, all that good stuff when it comes to that particular unit. Again, this one is equipped with a air dryer system. This air dryer system right here so what that does is all the moisture going into your air tanks, this will actually dry, those, dry that air before it enters your air tank. And again, allows less moisture going into those air tanks and less rust and all that good stuff. When it comes to <clears throat> the Freightliners and the Summit Hauler, whenever we bring a brand new unit in, we put auto balancers throughout the unit. So this little disc you see between the tires and the brakes that unit right there will auto balance the vehicle while driving there are small bb's inside there as you drive it balances the vehicle and of course guys gives you more life on your tires as well very easy to close the hood a simple push and you can see that soft close on that hood so to move a little faster you can just give it a little push and remember guys there's two tie downs on either one tie down on either side of the vehicle so make sure you tie those down or strap it down before driving off one of the cool things about our new design is the front on the on the steps right here right now we do have a casing on our 106s that would cover the tanks and we do have dual tanks 50 gallons on either side and a six gallon depth tank over here. With that being said, you could close this in, lock it in place. Nobody could tamper with your diesel or your depth fluid. Again, the lights on this, we got lights throughout the whole truck. Makes it super easy. It comes equipped with a engine block heater. And of course, a battery conditioner, which we call a trickle charger as well. So it will charge your batteries if you're not using it. And as we're on the batteries, the batteries are located in a little casing right underneath the back seat here. 
So right underneath here, you'll see your batteries. And to access those batteries, we have four points of entry. So we got one screw here and three up here. Once all the screws are removed, you could pull this paddle off and have gain access to your batteries. So since we're on the battery part of things, we're gonna show you up front here, right underneath the driver's seat. We do what you have, what is called the power shut off. So right here, if you're not using your truck for a few weeks or so, and you don't want any power running through the vehicle, you could switch that off and it will turn all power going into this vehicle off. So this is a nice little device to have on your trucks, especially having a big truck like that. Sometimes you forget to turn off a light, forget to close a door. So my thing is, if you're not gonna drive this a lot, once you get out of the vehicle, you lock it up, you turn that switch, and it will automatically shut off all power to the vehicle. With the Summit haulers, because we have a security system on this unit, when the battery disconnect is, is turned off, and when you turn it back on, your alarm will go off. So with that being said, we do have this remote that will turn on and off the alarm, and it also unlocks and unlocks the door as well. So um, nice little thing to know. Another thing we added is the door panel. We have the Summit Hauler logo right now, and we do change out the speakers a little bit. So we do have the Kenwood sound system, the Kenwood speakers and a Stinger sound system. Uh, we also uh, put in Kicker sound systems in there as well with the Stinger radio. With the driver's seat and passenger front seat, they are both air ride, and you do have the option for heated seats and lumbar system up here. Again, you can see how high this would go for all the tall people out there. And while we talking about tall people, um, you do have the option here for tilting. So with this pedal right here, let me go up and show you guys. With this pedal right here, this will actually tilt the steering wheel to your comfort. So just imagine you sit, you sit up high and you just want to have that comfort in driving. Again, you have the option of tilting it the way you want it. So up and down and side to side. Okay. Ah. So we do have an aluminum bed to make the back end a little lighter. So we don't do steel beds on our trucks. But again, we do have some awesome storage. Four storage boxes, they're all the same size. But this one does come equipped with a air supply. So you could plug in your hose, put in your tires, and anything that needs air. All those boxes are lockable, even with the smaller storage box in the back. Again, they're nice and deep as well, so you do have enough space for putting your personal items. Like I said, all four doors locked. On this particular unit, we, do, we did do the spray bed line on there. Again, it will save your life, a lot of life on, your, on the quality of the bed. Again, with this flat bed, it gives you the opportunity now to if you're not pulling a trailer, you can put your side-by-sides, you can put your motorcycles, your bicycles, whatever the case may be, you want to stop here, your hay bales. Again, this one <clears throat> does come pre-drilled for whatever hitch our customers decide to put in there. Right now, we have a straight plate down here. Uh, we have the option of putting a Hensley fifth wheel hitch, which can convert into a gooseneck ball, or you could put a straight gooseneck ball on this bed with a seven pin hookup here for your trailer, tons of lighting over here, and of course, a bumper pool hitch. We do have the option here also to put a storage box in the back end. And if you guys could see from this video, there's two little screw holes in here, pre-drilled. Um, all you gotta do, let us know if you need one. We'll get one ordered for you. Typically, time frame is between uh, six to eight weeks to get a storage box built. Again, you could also get that storage box built with that Rhino line in as well. Again, I keep on saying Rhino line, but <clears throat> spray bed line. So I had a customer in the past who did all the diamond plating with that spray bed line. 
and of course even his toolbox was spray bed line as well so you have the option of doing that and kind of making everything match on the bed when we talk about the back seat um, with that bench it does turn into a bed and of course with the the way the quality of the seats we try to put in our units it's very very comfortable very soft um, many times I have customers come in here to look at the vehicles and even though that's not what they're looking for they will still go inside there and compliment how comfortable those seats are and the amount of space it has as well when it comes to the back seat if we look dead, dead center we have charging ports on the bottom on the center console so we have we do have an inverter on there so you have two 110 plugins you have four USB and of course another two 12 volt plugins down here so you got tons of charging for your guests so let's jump inside kind of show you some of the features in the interior and of course guys if you have any questions feel free to put those comments underneath and of course we'll answer it as we get them again with the interior design of this particular unit we do have that carbon fiber dip look inside on the interior this one does come equipped with a J-brake so over here you do have a turn on switch for that J-brake and of course you got your high and low setting for that turn off switch above here we do have our rear AC and heat I'm just gonna turn that on for a little bit here with the red light being on it will turn on the heat in the back of the cab with the blue light on, it will turn the coal. Center will turn it off. The fan switch is right next to it. There is a high, medium, and low setting. And of course, you could turn that off. Over here, you do have the Allison six-speed automatic transmission. We do have cruise control, manual regen button, and also you have power windows, power locks, power mirrors on the door, on the driver door. You do have a traction control switch and of course a red differential lock up here. Also we do have the new to this unit is the light test button and we started putting it in majority of our units. With this light test button if you're driving alone or you want to test all your lights on your vehicle and trailer you could turn that on it will do a countdown. Once that countdown finishes, it will start blinking all lights on that unit. The only lights that will not show up are the cargo lights on the bed of the truck. So with that being said, this optional switch, you could turn that on and make sure all your cargo lights work. And of course, all the blinking lights will continue. Headlights, signal lights, all the lights on the side of the bed will start blinking and make sure everything is in working condition. Once you're done, you're gonna come back inside, you're gonna flip that switch again. It's gonna turn off all those lights and then everything will come back to life. During that process, the stereo will go off. The, um, of course, anything that's loud, like the AC unit, all that will actually pause and will give you the full effect of those lights. You got four USB plug in here for charging. You got another USB here for your Apple and Android capability. So we want you plug in your USB on this spot right here. Your phone will automatically load up on here with some prompts on your phone to allow you to connect to that Stinger sound system. We do have the Red Arc trailer brake system, which is very handy and very small. It's not bulky like the previous <coughs> trailer brake systems we normally put in there. This one is actually uh, very user friendly. And again, there's so many material online. We do have the Red Arc manuals coming with this truck so you could read and know what and how to use it. Over here, we have a base switch. So if there is a subwoofer underneath the back bench, while you're playing your music, you want more bass, you could actually adjust the sound or the, the volume of that bass. All your AC controls, you do have cup holders throughout this unit. Nice huge storage box as well. And of course, our awesome Stinger sound system. This one does come with satellite, AM, AM, AM and FM radio, Bluetooth technology, and like I mentioned earlier, 
Apple and Android capability. With your Voyager camera system, this system is separate, so all your feed will go through this system. Right now we only have one camera. You have the option of adding an additional three cameras to this, so a total of four cameras could be put on there. And of course, if you guys wish to add more cameras, you could actually send some of those signals to this thing of sound system as well. Again, this unit has been on the market just a couple months now. Only has eight, just about a month. It just has 800 miles. So if you guys are interested in this unit or want more information, feel free to contact me. My name is Marlon Bledman, or you could contact Larry Vickers at 303-684-3412. Or you could text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. You guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another video. And stay tuned for RV right after this one. Thank you very much.